sees crazy crossroads. What's up everybody, it's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. I'm with Big Joey C, Big Rob from Urban Ghost Urban Explorations. If you guys haven't, please go down and subscribe to their channel. They're the best numero uno, my buds. Um, we're at an old abandoned uh, bowling alley. We're actually gonna do an outside outdoor shoot tonight because it's so beautiful out. You get to wear a little jacket, unless you're Rob. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's so warm all the time. But um. This place is a little crazy. We could go inside, but we don't have permission, so we're not going to. Um, it's wide open. It's very tempting, but uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And if you guys have seen uh, Joe's video already, um, I'm just gonna reiterate, we're in the heart of Pasco County, and it's, <laughs> and it's, it's, definitely, uh, it's, it's definitely the heart that needs a few stints because uh, this, this is a bad area. This place is gonna give us uh, anxiety, that's for sure. But we're gonna check it out. Uh, there's a homeless shelter next door. We've already had some people drive through to say hi to us. Um, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna go on the back side because there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on back there. So we're crazy. We figured we'd check it out. Maybe we can help some people along the way, who knows? Um, with that being said, we'll see you guys on the outside. Deuces. All right, so we're just kind of making our way up here to see what's going on on the outside. We just want to make sure, uh, I, you know, I know my intro said that there's a lot of crazy people out here. There's a lot of people that are down on their luck. So uh, if we get an opportunity to help somebody out, let's face it, we're in the holiday season. So, um, but there has been a lot of crime back there. Um, so, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen. <clears throat> Here we go. Now this is kind of, here's a neat little story to this place. When I was, um, when Mariah and I were newly engaged, the first place we came to was uh, this place. There was a little bar attached to this bowling alley and uh, my friend's band was playing category five big shout out to my buddy Dale um, we came here and announced that we got engaged and all that good stuff so pretty neat it's definitely not uh, how I remember it that's for sure but I'm gonna make my way up front here so you guys can see that well actually no we we couldn't get in there what is it yeah that's what it looks like what there's what with a bloody finger right there look a napkin or something <laughs> look at that yeah oh what is that it's freaky but check this out, Chris, so you can actually see inside there. Yeah, that's where the old bar was. And I was just telling everybody, when Mariah and I first were engaged, we came, came here, Dale Dennis's band was playing here, Category 5. Really? Yeah. So, so wow. this was our first place we came to as an engaged couple. Here for Chris. Yeah. Yeah, we could. Now, the door's open. It's not really open. The glass is all busted out there. But we can't get through this anyway, as you can see here. Um, it's chained up. So we're not uh, we're not into that. So this bowling alley has was here for many 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 years. I mean, I remember my uncle and family friends used to actually belong to leagues in here. I believe it was called Leisure Lanes. Um back in the day. <clears throat> and like Joe had mentioned, if you guys ever watched Live PD, um, 
they were uh, from Pasco County. For a couple of years they did it. And uh, this was basically the area that every episode from Pasco County <laughs> was filmed at along this road here, US 19. Um, if you see, I don't know if you could see back there, but there's some tents over there. And that's a little homeless shelter. And there's about three or four people that are just sitting there watching us. So they're probably, they might even think that we have something to do with live PD, who knows. But the one guy already came over, just kind of said, what's up? <clears throat> what's that, buddy? I'm not going to go inside. Uh, how did you get back there? Yeah, I'm good. You do your thing, man. I'm not going to find That's probably the sheriff's helicopter up there. So you guys are going to see this video. I'm also going to be putting up a, a video for Olight to, uh, tomorrow uh, for this green flashlight. Awesome little flashlight. Great flashlight to uh, just carry in your pocket or for the ladies in their purse or pocketbook. Man, look at this. Clothes everywhere. <clears throat> See that little thing sticking up right there? I think that's one of the uh, ball returners from the bowling alley. Bro, that's a uh, holy sketch. Yeah, it's totally a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can't go in, that's for sure. What's that? Go under, you're probably better. <laughs> Although, do this because if that breaks, I got you on video. That'd be fucking awesome. And that would be phenomenal. Everything's still in there, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. I wonder how long this has been down. I don't know. How long have you been with Mariah now? Oh, wow. Well, that, that was a long, long time ago. Right. That's before you guys were married, right? Yeah. All right. Rob's already, <laughs> Rob's already back there. Yeah, there. Leisure Lanes. It's still... That's what it was called. Yeah, nothing leisure about it now, huh? <laughs> hey -o. They say Chris back here <clears throat> is where people hang out and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, I think on that back side there. Yep. You good over there, Rob? Yep. You okay? Yeah. Do you hear anything? Oh yeah. Rob said he's pretty sure there's a bunch of people in the woods back there, so.
Firewood. Is what? <laughs> there is, there's a boot dangling. Now, how the heck? Is that a dog, Joe? Yeah. Dog, yeah. You all right, Rob? You all right? Like a homeless, uh, homeless area. Prior, probably prior to before they built that shelter for them. Yeah. Joe, anybody coming up? Out of all the things you'd, you'd see in a homeless campsite, one thing I would never expect to see is a Hoover vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah. They like to tidy up after themselves. Yeah.
my biggest. So I believe this is, wow, I'm really washed out. I believe like this area here is where everybody that's staying in those tents probably used to live. Um, this is where we were told to come back and come behind here just to see what was going on. But I'm more worried about going in deeper to what's going to happen from where we came from. So let's do it. Let's keep going. I don't think uh, this seems pretty harmless so far. <clears throat> about behind us and here goes my head I think I heard of like a uh, like I heard a voice. Oh, look at that little oh, girls. That's sad, right? Yeah. With a little tarp. You can yeah. make shape, oh, uh, shape yeah. bed. Kid. What is that? What is that on the ground in front of you, Rob? Sorry, John. There's a flashlight over there. Yeah. Odds are, doesn't work though. It's not a no light. Shameless plugs, my friend. Shameless plugs. What was that? Wait a second. This, uh, guys, this is dangerous as hell. Look at that straight ahead. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's uh, the whole common area. Hello. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty stupid. We're deep, guys. We are deep. Hey. Yo. <clears throat> There's a lot, a lot of bicycle tires back here for some reason. This all I can't see. I got this one up to walk in the stairs. Yeah. We are, we are deep, deep in it now. Yep, that's so I'm watching every step. Man, we are deep in here. And we don't want... I don't know if we can get back around through here, but... This is how people have to live, guys. It's absolutely... Terribly sad. But thankfully... I don't know if the county set up a facility for these people. But thankfully, people don't have to live under these conditions at least Ooh. what the heck is oh this is all swamp wow and they are living in the swamp they are literally living in the swamp it's 
see all the water? And this is where the swamp starts. Look at that. So, not only are they living in these horrible conditions, they're living amongst alligator water moccasins let alone all the nasty bacteria and whatever else they can get sick from there's literally a swamp right here literally the swamp starts right here it's all swamp, it's all marsh. And <clears throat> looks like they're gathering stuff. So they're living amongst alligators, snakes, yeah. bear, coyote. What was that? I definitely want, I don't want to stay back here that terribly long, guys. Yeah, I think we should probably move on out of here. Just because of what might be coming up behind us. Plus, our cars are out there. Find our way up out of this. Poor people. Yeah. 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 Which way? Oh, yep, you're right, Rob. Yep. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna make my way back to uh, my uh, make my way back to the back side of this bowling alley now. <clears throat> so. That's a uh, really interesting area there. It's kind of cool to, to see it. I mean, to see how these people have to live their lives. But just overwhelmingly sad. Especially, once again, it seems like you always see children involved. And we didn't see any drug paraphernalia like we did in the last home we were at. But nonetheless, it's still a very sad situation. So I'm gonna head over to, sorry guys, I know this is probably a little wobbly. I'm using that monopod again. Sad. It 
So even back over here is where all that swampland starts. I mean, that's Florida for you. And we're about, I'd say maybe a mile the same direction is the Gulf of Mexico. So within this turnstile of land, you know, there's swamp, turns probably into rivers, turns brackish, and uh, heads out to the, to the Gulf of Mexico. So in between here, an absolute pure beauty is sadness and I guess you could say reality Seems like everywhere I go, it feels like I hear voices all the time. I hear. What are you hearing? Sight? It's a medium foot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's gonna attack me. Ow, oh, he's attacking me. Ow, oh, stop it. Bigfoot. Oh. oh. Bigfoot just got me. Oh. oh. He attacked me. Oh. <laughs> you hear that scream? I did. <laughs> Man, this turned out to be kind of like a sad explore to see people like that. It's know? horribly sad. Terrible, man. It just, it's just reality, man. It sucks. Yeah. I guess when you think about it, you know, you could um, you can complain, but we'd have a roof over our heads. It's oh, table, God. You know? Hey, listen. You do what you have to do to survive. You know, unfortunately, some people, you know, can't. You know, they fell into hard times, probably got into some legal troubles, and yeah. I mean, it's not that easy. Hey, Rob, you all right? Yeah, it sounded like something random. Check it out. Could be any kind of creature, buddy. You know, Rob, I did want to point this out. I found an extra large shirt. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. For some reason, H and R Block is a big presence. H and R Block is a uh, yeah, they sponsor the homeless. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, literally, okay, so we got swamp land here, we got woods, you got bear, you got all kinds of crap that could be living back here. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, coyotes. <laughs> what would you rather encounter? That's the million dollar question. Would you rather encounter an alligator or a coyote? You know, one thing I always think of when I'm out doing these explorers is my taxes. Anyone? And where am I going to get them done? Anyone? Well, there you go. Alligator, Rob? Or a coyote? Maybe we'll be now. You never know. Maybe uh, H&R You'd rather encounter a coyote? Yeah. Hell no. Really? I don't know. 
Hell no. I'd rather encounter Chris in the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> All right, let's get those out here. Yeah, this place, yeah, I'll tell you, this is... I'm glad we came out here, though, because... Yeah. It's kind of neat to capture that. No, that's, uh... That's Rob's old moon pants. <laughs> Back in his breakdancing days. Yeah. Look at that. It's got the <laughs> zipper by the ankle, right? Go on, Rob! Hey, that's the shirt I was talking about, bro. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Oh, look at this. The, tooth, the toothbrush and toothpaste. The travel kit. The travel kit. Yeah, the Christmas tree. I don't know what this is. Or that. I don't see some kind of blow up thing. No, it's a Norman Rockwell. Where Thomas Kincaid, sorry. Um, you know what? I couldn't help but notice the Bubba's bitch <laughs> stays here. <laughs> So I'm at 30 minutes, my camera just shut off, came back on, I just had to click it back on, so I apologize for that. You didn't miss much. Yeah, and I just stepped on it. Oh, God. Is that a, uh, no, it's not a bowling, is that a bowling shoe? It's a bowling shoe. No way. Either that or... I don't know. Don't they, aren't they, don't they usually have the number on the back? Shoe. Oh yeah, look at that. That is cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what that is? That's that's a cannon. That's a cannon, and it's and it's spitting. It's shooting the stunt man out of the front of the cannon. You see, into hopefully a secured netting system. I would hope. I'm putting it up anyway. Yeah. I ain't scared. And you know what? Bubba's bitch again. Bubba's bitch was everywhere around here. She was having fun bowling though. Bubble. Bubbles bitch. Now that takes you back. There you have it, nothing, nothing really too exciting guys, but uh, nonetheless, kind of cool. You never know we're here on playback. Um, I thought I heard a couple of things I'll, I'll see when we uh, play the video back. But with that being said, appreciate you all for coming along and taking this little journey with us on this beautiful Florida night. The one in very few beautiful Florida nights. Um, it's in the 60s. I love it. So, uh, again, that's it. We're done. Hope you enjoyed it. I mean, saw some pretty cool stuff. I just kind of saw how people live on another side. And it's sad. And that's why we always try and help out any, any chance we can. I mean, if you can make a difference in one person's life, and everybody does it. Maybe we can make a difference in the world. So I love you guys. Everything's listed down below. I will catch you next time. Peace.